Hello and welcome. Today we are in the tier 10 US heavy cruiser, the Des Moines. We're playing a match on the map Atlantic and I spawned near the western side of the map which is why I headed towards the ACAP. Too many times on this map what I've noticed is that people just start heading towards the CCAP and then they end up bogged down there for most of the match and then they'll, they are surprised when uh, they aren't winning on the rest of the map. So I decided to buck that trend and head somewhere over here. I am playing a Des Moines with the legendary upgrade. The legendary upgrade on the Des Moines gives you incredible acceleration, which means that you can go from a standstill to up to speed very, very quickly. The Des Moines also has very good AP ricochet angles, which makes her AP really effective, which you might be able to see here in a moment or not. However, you do have to note that these shells are not the fastest, they are somewhat slow, so you do need to lead properly. Otherwise, you know, you just aren't going to hit. And hey, I got two Citadel hits over here. I am playing with IFA, I wanted to see how it feels. Uh, IFA is the uh, thing which makes the exclamation mark you see turn red every time somebody fires at you from further than 4.5 kilometers away, which is basically every time you would want this to be useful. The reason I wanted to try it is because uh, I figured that it's only one point and perhaps it could actually be useful. And honestly, my opinion is that IFA made this game a lot more, how do I say it, um, relaxing? Because I don't need to pay attention to every single ship and where their guns are pointed to know that nobody is firing at me. And the thing is that even if I normally do that, quite often what ends up happening is that I simply just miss some ship and somebody fires at me when I don't realize it. Hey, we got some more citadels on a cruiser that was showing broadside. Thank you, Brindisi. So like I mentioned, the AP ricochet angles make the AP on this ship very, very scary. You need to angle very well against it to not get citadeled or simply have enough armor, which is what battleships have. However, the AP can still hurt quite a bit on the broadsides of battleships because, well, it simply deals a lot of damage, but so can the HE. And the Des Moines is very deadly in that sense. Now, she does have 27 millimeters of armor all over, which makes her excellent against ships like uh, Bismarck's, Tepets, Alsace, anything with 380 millimeter caliber guns. However, against larger caliber guns, well, <laughs> They have a fairly easy time dealing a lot of damage to the Des Moines, which is why you need to be able to dodge and the legendary upgrade is actually perfect for that because you can, you know, just weave through the shells and go from a standstill to moving so quickly that the enemy shells simply miss. However, a lot of that is down to somewhat, maybe not RNG, but random in that the enemy has to somewhat cooperate. You know, if they outplay you, well, you are going to get punished, or if you simply get unlucky, or that, that is, they get lucky, that can end up going pretty poorly for you. However, on the other hand, this also means that if things go decently for you, well, you can have pretty excellent results. And the Des Moines is very enjoyable to play because of it. And I mean, add on top of that, the fact that she also has a 10 kilometer radar, which lasts for a very long time, well, Oh, and a very fast reload, giving you one of the highest DPMs on the heavy cruisers. In fact, it might actually be the highest DPM on heavy cruisers. Yeah, it should be. In fact, the reload actually kind of caught me off guard here a little bit, since I hadn't played the Des Moines in a while, in that I wasn't really used to the reload being so quick. I just ended up not firing sometimes when I was simply able to fire because I'm just not used to it. I'm used to like more like Baltimore or something along those lines. Like right now, I just lost like one or two seconds on the reload of the guns right there. Just because I wasn't used to it. Anyway, now you'll see the effectiveness of the HA. Well, if the shells actually manage to land on the battleship that I'm firing at. So I take a uh, priority target, right? You saw a ship was targeting me, but because I have IFA, I don't need to worry about the fact that you know, somebody fired the guns at me and I just didn't notice. I can simply ignore the one most of the time and only simply pay attention to when IFA selects you. So why would I still take priority target? 
because priority target can give me extra information. In the case of, let's say, I'm uh, you know in a fight with a destroyer, and uh, I see, and I know that there's only the destroyer around me, and I'm not being selected by anything. That means I know the destroyer has torpedoes selected, or is either just not targeting me. Whereas if I know there's only a destroyer around me and I am being targeted, well, that means the destroyer is selecting me with guns and I don't have to worry about torpedoes. You can gain extra information from uh, Priority Target, which is what I really like about it. IFA is more about, you know, simply... When you're not paying attention, you'll still know when the shells are incoming. Now, on the legendary side, I do think one downside is that you don't get to use the range upgrade on the Des Moines. Yeah, hitting things at range on a Des Moines is kind of difficult because the shells are fairly slow. However, in my opinion, quite often that's still okay because you'll have battleships like that Iowa was reversing. And when that happens, well, having the range is simply good enough because you don't need to really aim that much anyway. However, I think the legendary upgrade is absolutely better than, well, any of the other ones. Which is why I'm obviously going to use it. And it also makes the Des Moines really fun to play, because you can play so much with your speed, and it really catches some players off guard. Anyway, we seem to be winning really hard. We haven't lost a single ship, they've lost, what is this, seven? Which means that now is the time to be aggressive and basically uh, win harder. Which is fine in this case, because I don't think it's even possible for us to throw this game. So I'm going to be pushing up to hopefully deal some more damage to the red team. And there are a few battleships over here. The IO is showing broadside, and she is on fire, which is why I probably should actually switch to AP. And so I'm going to try and see what AP does here. Because it should deal at least the same alpha damage as HE, and when well, the ship is already on fire, well... You can't set fires anyway, and hey, 6k, that's very nice. And there she goes. And I think that's kind of it. The JB is probably going to sink in a moment, and... Or there, Xianyang will. And then the game ends. Or I, I guess we'll win in 7 seconds by points anyway. But hey, this was a really successful game. And we didn't lose a single ship. It's a flawless victory. That is, this doesn't happen every day, but when it does happen, it's quite nice, huh? And usually when you have a game like this, a flawless victory where you don't lose anything, your damage output tends to be quite mediocre. But here I managed to rack up 167k damage. I even sank a ship. And hey, look at this. The ship kills are pretty evenly spread out. Damn, that's pretty nice. I guess this means that almost everybody, put, you know, did their part. Probably everybody did their part. I mean, even that Izumo, despite the fact that he is last on the team with by quite a significant margin, he probably has something like Dreadnought or Fireproof, which just doesn't get rewarded that much. And so this was a pretty enjoyable game. I racked up a lot of damage. We won really hard. Wow, that HE damage was pretty damn good because you need to add the fire damage to the HE damage. I guess I didn't really comment much on the actual match this time. It was mostly about the upgrades and commander skills that I think the Des Moines should take, or I guess upgrades really. But I really think the Des Moines is a really good ship. I guess we should go over the commander skills in port, and I guess upgrades too, huh? I use Halsey because he has the faster rudder shift and expert loader, but the skills I go for are priority target, expert marksman, superintendent, concealment expert, after that, it's kind of unsure. Well, Adrenaline Rush, obviously, and then Expert Loader. But after that, I don't know. I figured I would go for Demolition Expert and IFA. IFA just to try it out, and the last two points, well, Jack of all trades it is. If I dropped IFA, I probably would drop Jack of all trades and go for something like, I don't know, Survivability Expert maybe? But I'm kind of unsure. What do you guys think? What would you do with your Captain build? But, but I definitely want Expert Loader and uh, demo or Expert Marksman. Upgrades-wise, like I said, the Legendary Upgrade. If I didn't have one, I would probably use the uh, Range Upgrade, not the uh, Reload. Because Reload also reduces your turret traverse and 
The other thing is that I think the range is quite useful at times. Obviously I use the concealment upgrade, then steering gears would be something I would actually use on most cruisers. However, because of the uh, because of the uh, legendary upgrade that it gives you increased acceleration, I figured I would go for the acceleration upgrade so that you have a double whammy. In the third slot, I go for the uh, dispersion upgrade. But I think something else that you could consider is well, I guess the I wouldn't recommend the AA, but you could consider the main battery traverse upgrade. In the second slot, I go for the radar upgrade. If you don't, if you don't have one, then go for the hydro special upgrade, and if you don't have that one, then reduced fire and flooding. And first slot, obviously, main arms modification. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would like to thank the patrons on Patreon. Thank you very much for your continued support, Leops, and I hope I'll see you guys next time.